Hi and welcome back to Waplow and Wrapped. In this lesson we're going to insert a new record into the university table. If you remember back in the um, edit page lesson that we did, we actually only made one field required. So what we're going to do is we're going to do things slightly differently. We're actually going to start with an insert which only inserts that one required field, i.e. the university name. We're going to insert that into the table. We're then going to pick up that unique ID that is created for it. And then we're going to do a redirect to the edit page where we can update the remainder of the details. And that just simply saves us creating or recreating a large part of the edit page table. I'm just going to drop a quick picture of the um, database structure in there. We don't need to worry about the university ID, the uni ID field, because we've got to set it to an auto increment. So that will be automatically creating itself. So all we're concerned about is the university name, which is a voucher 60 characters long. So I'll just get rid of that off screen. So let's go straight into the App Connect side of things. Let's add a new action file. We're going to call that insert uni. Down to our steps. As usual, we're going to create a database connection and we're going to use the training connection for that. And then we're going to create a straightforward database insert. We'll call it insert uni, insert options, select our table, university. And actually, all we're going to be interested in is the university name. So we can take out all of the other fields from here. Okay, straightforward, nothing more than that. We don't need any conditions or anything. In fact, we can't add anything in, but this is a straightforward insert of a new record and the only field that will be populated will be the university name. Next, we have to capture that new ID because we're going to need that to process over at the App Connect end. So we're going to right click, we're going to go into Core Actions and we're going to add Set Value. We're going to call that um, new ID and in the value we're going to select identity which has already been uh, put into that list but for us by Wappler. One other thing we're going to do is make sure that we're going to output that so that is returned back to the App Connect end of the uh, procedure. Let's save that. How good was that? We've already created the app connect side of things right new file we'll do a save straight away and this is going to be insert uni dot php it's partly admin let's save that let's have the app connect framework it's our bootstrap Let's add a container and a row and a column. Just save that again. All straightforward stuff. We should all be perfectly comfortable with doing that. We're now going to add in a generated bootstrap form. And the action for that bootstrap form is going to be that it insert uni that we created before. We don't populate it obviously because this is a new form so okay and let's just save that again insert university name happy with that happy with that um, let's just use that prompt and what we're going to put in here um, further details can be added at the next stage and remember that we still need to um, just limit that to 60 characters we'll, we'll give it an autofocus so the cursor goes straight there and our max length of 60 everything looks good there okay so let's save that 
so now we have the insert form created so at the moment we're going to enter the university in there we're going to hit save it's going to then run the insert uni it's going to insert that it's going to set new value what are we going to do from there and that's pretty straightforward in our success event so i just got to select the form there server connect success event what we're going to do is have to run a browser redirect so i'll just leave that blank for the moment we need to add a browser into here if we go back now to our form our action can be go to and then a url now obviously what we've got to do is to pass over that new id which we see is now available within data, data bindings but we need to do a little bit more than that of course because we need to put the details of the page that we're going to revert to, to divert to so single quotes edit uni dot php not pgp we'll do a php query id equals close quotes and we'll select that so right what's going to happen here we're going to submit we're going to insert we're going to pick up that new id we're going to send that back we're going to run the success we're going to do a browser redirect to the edit uni page just make sure we've got that name right it was edit uni yep and then that should then show the uh, full update form for the university just to add a little bit of glitz in as we do it's becoming my trademark let's just give that button a little bit of a wobble when I remember how to do it thank you for bearing with me on that one had a little uh, forgetful moment and let's just give that a bit of a, a flash let's say okay I've, I've dashed through that eight minutes to write that I think that I've got everything that we need to there let's make sure everything's properly saved so what's the logic we start off with a page we open the page we get a little bit of a wobble in the button or a little bit of flash we enter the appropriate university name that university name is then stuck in an envelope and posted over to our server connect side we're going to run that query we're going to insert it we're going to take that new id in they're going to shove that on the app exit act app express ex uh, train back over to the app structure over here it's going to back at the form we're going to say okay there right let's we need to redirect so we're going to pass that over to the browser along with that new id who's going to go yay let's go over to that edit uni page we're going to jump over the edit uni page the uni page is going to wobble the button's going to drop in and we're going to be able to edit it do you think it's going to work i <laughs> sure hope it will so let's call it the Wapla University Online. You can see I've tried this a few times already. Let's hit the save and there we go, folks. We're in the Edit Uni page. We've got the Wapla Unwrapped Online University there, ready to add any further details that we want. That's quite amazing. We did that in eight minutes. Just think how long that would have taken you within any other product. Why does it work? It works because it's Wapler and here we unwrap Wapler. Hope to see you again soon.